today i want to talk about encouraging yourself in the lord encouraging yourself in the lord the bible talks about in the book of um, jeremiah 17 verse 5 thus saith the lord cast be the man that trusteth in man and maketh flesh his arm and whose heart departeth from the lord for he shall be like the, he shall be like the heath in the desert and shall not see when good cometh but shall inhabit the parched the parched places in the wilderness in a salt land and not inhabited cast is the man that puts his trust in men i've come to realize that most of the times we have drifted from trusting in god and in the power of his might some of us are very good givers some of us have supported many projects out there some of us have been out and about anytime you hear about somebody that in need that needs help you're there you're giving you're giving of yourself you're giving of your time you're giving of your finances you're always giving and giving and giving and then it comes to a point where you're also at a point of need and you need somebody to support you you find there's nobody you expect that because you did something good to people or because you did something to other people that when it comes to your time the same same people will do the same to you some of us do what is called social capital you have invested so much in social capital that you brag in yourself that if anything happens to me mimi niko na chama mingi niko na hii chama niko na hii chama hata niko na chama ya mazishi niko na chama ya kufanya hivi na hivi na hivi and you you have so much confidence in the places in the things that you have invested in and the moment you have so much confidence in such things you find that the place of god starts narrowing it gets narrower and narrower then god starts excluding himself from you because you have taken over your life yet god wants to take charge over your life yes it might be a good gesture that you're there you're so philanthropic but the intention the reasons behind you doing what you're doing is what the bible calls praying amiss or doing something to benefit yourself such that when it comes to your time ikifika wakati wako kukula so that you can also eat the bible calls that putting your trust in man you have trusted upon man that when my time comes then i will get this and this and this i have supported these children here i have supported so and so and i expect that when it comes to my time they will have to support me you have invested in social capital and forgotten to invest in heavenly capital you have forgotten to invest in your relationship with god you've concentrated so much on the social being and forgotten the spiritual being and therefore when it comes to a point of disappointment because men will always disappoint human beings will always disappoint your parents will disappoint you your children will disappoint you the people you've supported the people you've taken to school the people you've provided food for they are the ones who will get the energy and the muscles to even beat you up cast is the man that puts his trust in men you need to always trust in god put your trust in god and when you're going out there to support somebody when you're good you're doing the good things you're you're out there you're giving of yourself don't expect anything in return the bible says in whatsoever thing you do in anything that you do do us unto the lord do us unto the lord knowing that the lord god almighty who gives every good and perfect gift will remember you one day and when you find yourself in challenges because nowadays things are crazy things are bad and most people are finding 
it's hard to even survive we were having a conversation earlier this morning about mental issues that it becomes so hard sometimes you find yourself you have nobody to talk to there are no people coming your way to support you you've done so much out there but nobody is coming to nobody is coming to your help nobody is coming to reach out to you nobody is reaching out to you when others were sick in hospitals you were there to support them you went and visited them but you are there you are sick and nobody has even stepped at your doorstep people were hungry and you provided for them when you had a good job you you provided you 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 supported so many people but probably right now you are at a place where you also need help but nobody seems to care and listen child of god that is the nature of man that is the nature of man they will always disappoint but we have god who's always there the ever present help in times of trouble the Bible talks about David and I want to encourage you with this one right here to encourage yourself in the Lord always encourage yourself in the Lord because it is only God that can see you through amid the pain and anguish David strengthened himself or literally he made himself strong depending on god in god himself he knew that to overcome all obstacles he had to strengthen himself in the lord david drew upon god's empowerment grace his empowering grace upon himself through prayer and how did he do it through prayer that is how you encourage yourself in the lord that is how you empower yourself in the lord so that you don't depend on people you don't depend on the strengths of other people that is why you find people committing suicide dying by suicide because they expected there was nowhere they could run to their friends are not there for them their family is not there for them probably their spouse is not there for them but if you are in the lord the holy spirit is the ever present helper he's always gonna be there even when everybody has neglected you even when everybody else has forsaken you you can encourage yourself in the Lord you can encourage yourself in the Lord through prayer you can encourage yourself in the Lord through worship through music there's the singer there said I will sing when you see him so far away from me a million miles or more when it's it's so much painful when there's so there's no more strength when I can't do it anymore when my body is weak and my faith is becoming weary when I can't do it anymore when I can't hold on to the faith anymore when troubles are surrounding me when there's pain right left and center when there's evil and bad report every single moment what are you gonna do i will sing of the praises of the lord i will worship the lord i will say thank you god because i'm in this right now but you will get me through it all david strengthened himself in the lord and god's word you can do so strengthen yourself in the Lord because he is here for you 